The Iraqi military says these are some of the last ISIL fighters in Mosul. Captured or surrendered, some are stripped to the waist to prove to government forces they were not wearing suicide vests. Now that ISIL's control of the city is over, there are concerns about what the future holds for Mosul. It was once an ethnically diverse city that was home to Sunni Arabs, Shia Turkmen, Kurds, Christians, Yazidis, among other minorities. But the western section, at least, is almost completely destroyed. Residents who have returned to the east of the city are afraid about their future under a Shia-led government which they accuse of neglecting them for years. They also partly blame it for the rise of ISIL. West Mosul will be the biggest problem that the Iraqi government will face. If the western half is ignored, it will create a social disaster and more destruction if not addressed. The central government should know that West Mosul has produced ISIL and it's very possible that it may produce a newer version of it. Analysts say the fact that the Shia-led government has so far offered no plan on how Mosul will be governed or on how best to achieve reconciliation with ethnic minorities, including the huge Sunni population, is a serious concern. Terrorism will prevail once more in Mosul if the government doesn't have an inclusive program or agenda to rule and govern. The forces of the Shia Popular Mobilization Forces are not welcomed inside the city by the community. The believed to be 60,000 strong Shia militia forces, known as Popular Mobilization Forces or Hashar al-Shabi, have played a fundamental role in the fight against ISIL in Iraq. They are supported by Iran and are deeply feared, especially by Sunnis in Mosul and other areas of the country. Whether we liked it or not, this is sensitive. We do not want the Shia forces to be in or around Mosul. And the issue is that we need the people of Mosul to protect and police themselves. There is a need for an inclusive settlement or reconciliation, even on the social sector in order to eliminate ISIL's threats. That is why we need an inclusive vision that include real plans on the ground to enable the people of Mosul to live in stability. Iraq's constitution permits voting on self-governance in regions that want it, but interested parties say the government has made it difficult for the necessary regional referendums to be held. Analysts and top commanders in the international coalition say it's vital that the Baghdad government address deep-rooted concerns among the many minorities in Mosul and the wider Nineveh region, all of whom suffered under ISIL. If not, they say, there is a risk of deepening sectarian tensions that could lead to more conflict and even the eventual breakup of Iraq. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Erbil.